This week marks the third anniversary of Echo's death. We are remade by the time we spend with our dogs and unmade by the moment we lose them. But what are we to make of what comes after? Echo found a boy at one of the lowest points in his life and, despite the boy's general ineptitude, led him to new heights of happiness. So when I lost Echo, I lost myself. The aftermath was an ugly time, but fortunately I had a little demon who insisted love must not hinge on circumstance. Together, Penny and Emily reminded me of how much my love would be needed for what was to come. Or who was to come, to be more precise. A new chapter in our life was dawning, and I had to decide whether I would let Echo's end be the end of everything he taught me about love. Of course, it wasn't really a decision at all. We welcomed Zero home not to replace Echo, but to honor him. In offering my love to Zero, I began to find myself again. Not the self I had lost, but someone new. Scarred, but undaunted. I was following the path Echo had shown me, escorted by the dogs his love had spurred me to get. I missed Echo every day, but we hadn't a day to waste. For soon, there was another creature in desperate need of love. I was able to meet Lincoln with a full heart, not in spite of Echo's death, but because anything less wouldn't do justice to the lessons he taught me. They say nothing prepares you for a baby. Maybe they're right, but I do know love prepares you for love. Opening your heart, despite the cost, prepares you to do it again. Not because it hurts any less, but because the world needs more love. The pain of losing Echo's joy remains. I wouldn't wish the fog I wandered through afterwards on anyone. But now, I'm finally able to look at the scar in my heart and appreciate what it's brought to me these past three years. It brought me to this moment. And this one. And this one. And this one. It brought me a boy finding his way through the world with Ridgebacks by his side. A boy who shares his life and his treats with his dogs because he couldn't imagine it any other way. It's not the easy way. Some days, those dogs decide to take a dive off a deep dock, and then the cameraman has to go and fish them out. But Echo showed me that whatever we make of life, we are not meant to make it easy. It is the difficult and scary things which are worth doing. The things which earn us our scars. To gain anything, we must be willing to risk our hearts, no matter the cost. I have gained so much these past three years. If you've recently lost a dog, I know that pain is unbearable, but I hope this video can remind you that the love you share is unbreakable and everlasting. Echo may be gone, but he's far from done with transforming my life, so long as I have the courage to follow my heart the way he taught me. Thanks, pup.